Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Serwick here. Hey, I'm Mr. Sykes. And today we are going to be counting from zero to ten. But before we start counting, I've got a book I want to read you. It's called Ten Apples on Top. That's the title. And the author is Dr. Seuss. He's the one who wrote the book. One apple on top. Two apples up on top. Look you, I can do it too. Look, see, I can do three. Three, three, I see, I see. You can do three, but I can do more. You can have three, but I can have, what number do you think that might be? Four. More. Look, see, now I can hop with four apples up on top. And I can hop up on a tree with four apples up on me. <laughs> Look here, you two. See here, you two, I can get five on top. Can you? I am so good, I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top. Seven apples up on top. I am so good, they will not drop. Five, six, seven, fun, fun, fun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> But see, we are as good as you. I'm sorry. We are as good as you. Look, now we have seven too. And now see here, eight, eight on top, eight apples up. Now one will drop, not one will drop. Eight, eight. And we can skate. Look now, we can skate with eight. But I can do nine and hop and drink. You cannot do this, I think. We can, we can, we can do it too. See here, we are as good as you. We all are very good, I think. With nine, we all can hop and drink. Nine is very good, but then come on and we will make it. What number do you think they're going to make? Ten. Look, ten apples up on top. We are not going to let them drop. Look out, look out, I see a mop. I will make the, I will make the apples fall. Get out, get out you, one and all. Come on, come on, come down the hall. We must not let our apples fall. of our way we cannot stop we cannot let our apples drop this is not good what will we do they want to get our apples too They will get them if we let them come. We cannot let them get them. Look out, the mop, the mop, the mop. You cannot stop our apple fun. One apple will not drop, not one.
Come on, come on, come one, come all. We have to make the apples fall. They must not get our apples down. Come on, come on, get out of town. <laughs> Apples, apples up on top. All of this must stop, stop, stop. Now all of our, I'm sorry. Now all of our fun is going to stop. Our apples all are going to drop. Oh no. Look, 10 apples on us all. What fun, we will not let them fall. So they all have, how many apples on top? Ten. The end. All right, I Very hope you enjoyed nice. that story about 10 apples. Now Mr. Sykes is gonna show you some. Well, I was thinking numbers and order, you know how we all numbers are usually in the same order. I want us to try writing our numbers with the numbers out of order. We're going to check you to see if you remember exactly how to count and writing the number that matches the fingers that I hold up. So I'm not going to hold up a 10 frame today. I'm going to hold up fingers and I'm going to let you write the number on your dry erase board to match the number that I'm showing you. All right, so Ms. Serwick's going to do it also, so uh, you can check your work with hers. All right, so the first one is this. How many fingers are there? Count them and write that number. If you need to pause it, please do, and then come back and watch Ms. Serwick's. All right? Okay, I wrote the number two. Good job. And be sure you pay attention to your form. Make sure those numbers are nice and neat. Because the more you practice neatness, the better it's going to be. All right, the next one. I'm going to look, jump up. Let me see. All right, count the number of fingers that you see. And then write the number. I'm going to let you watch me write my number. Oh, I correctly. think so. Mm hmm Good number eight. Good job. Next one, let me see if I can trick you. How many fingers are we being held up? Are you ready, right? All right. Number zero, just good, all right. Next one. How many fingers, count? And right. Do you have five? Excellent. All right, next one. Count and write. Good job. Next one. Count. And right. Right. Next one. Count and right. Good job, Miss Irwick. You ready? I'll hold it up here a while. <clears throat> How many do you see? All right, got it? All right, see if you have the same numbers, Miss Serwick. Round and down, there you go. Number nine. All right, this one. Five and one. Five and one more. We talked about that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. About one more? If you had five and one more, what number would that be? 
go ahead and write it. Number six, excellent. And there we go. count and write. Number one. Is that all? Uh, what? Did I forget one? Hmm. What could it be? Ooh, could it be this one? How many fingers do you count on that one? That's easy, really, because all the fingers are up. So how many fingers do you have in all on your hands? Write that number. The number 10, excellent. All right, boys and girls, that's just really good practice of uh, writing your, your numerals and uh, also counting too. So it's all real good skills you need to have. And let me see, something, oh, here's something else we wanted to do today. And it's called counting on. If I give you a number, and how are we going to do this, Miss Sir? We mm. should use our number line. Let's use the number line. That's an excellent idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a number, and if you have a number line, you can use yours. I'm going to start with a number, and I'm going to put a dot up above that number. And I'm going to say, now, if you started at the number four, I want you to count the rest of the way to 10. So here's how you're going to do it. You would go, oh, I have four. I'm going to say five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I'm not going to count the zero, uh, the one, two, and three, because I said start with four. And this is how we would use this. If I said, I'm going to, I have four cookies, but I need 10. How many more do I need? Well, then you can go, oh, you need one, two, three, four, oh, Yes, one, two, three, four, five. I need six more cookies. But that's, we're going to talk about that later on. Right now, we just want you to learn this. If you start with this number, can you count to 10 from that number? So, Ms. Serwick, I'm going to test her in just a check, but I want you to do it first. If I started, let's start easy. If I, had, if I started with eight, I need you to start with eight and count to 10. Are you going to start with one? Nope, we don't need any of these numbers. Just start with the number eight and then count the others to 10. So, Ms. Serwick, if I say, all right, start with eight and count to 10. I would say eight, nine, 10. That's how easy it is. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go back some. What if I started at five? I said, Ms. Serwick, I want you to start at five and count to 10. Say five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. That was perfect. So it doesn't matter where I start. You, her, Miss Sirwitz, can always just start with that with the number I tell her. If I tell her the number three, and I say, Miss Sirwitz, could you count to ten for me from the number three? Sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She didn't use the one and the two because she started at three. And so if you know the number order, then it's easy to count to 10, no matter where you start, because the number order never changes. It's always the same. All right, so that's a fun skill to learn and know. So, uh, Ms. Ork, do you have anything else for today? Uh, that's about it. Just keep writing those numbers. You can watch the math, write, and count video. Write them on your whiteboard at least three times and continue counting to 25. All right, that sounds like a good idea. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. Bye.